Good afternoon, Madden 25 gamers. In today's episode of Defensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to take a look at the base man pressure uh, that we can use out of the big nickel formation uh, from the nickel 3 through 5 in the 46 defensive playbook. Okay, so guys, just remember that this formation can be found in the 4 6 defensive playbook. The play we're going to focus on today is a man to man pressure. Uh, and basically, what we're going to do uh, is we're going to send, um, we're going to send one guy free at the quarterback with a man-to-man -man coverage front. The reason we like this pressure is because the play is middle plug, guys. The reason we like this is because everybody's going to be manned up. So what we like to do is, unlike any other of the plays, we're going to man align, press coverage. Crash our D-line to the left. That's all we have to do. We're going to put Roach in the hook zone as well. And then I like to play a shade game where I shade everybody outside. I individually will press the slots like um, individual coverage, press them, and then I just shade everybody outside so it stops out routes and stuff like that. And we're just going to use her in the A-gap with Roach, or we're going to drop into a hook zone uh, at the snap, after the snap of the ball. Snap, go. We drop into hook zone, and you see you're going to get that left edge pressure. This pressure is only going to send one guy free. That's the only problem with this. Um, what you can do if you wanted to send two guys free, say you're a freak show like that, well, when you man align, Woodson's always going to come down into the box like this, so just re -blitz him. And if you do that, then you're still manned up on the outside with everybody. So now you're sitting in the A-gap with Roach. you got everybody where you need to be, and you're just going to send two guys free at the quarterback as you see there. That's an advanced tip. Uh, you don't have to do that. That does not, you know, that's just to add another blitz, blitzer just in case, you know, they, you think they're blocking their running back. If and only if you're facing a formation where Woodson comes down, which actually is very common uh, from the formations that most people use in game. Uh, and that's what I love about the big nickel formation is the alignment of it aligns so well against every formation in the game. Here again, you see the two-way pressure. It gets a blocking halfback now. So guys, that's how I run this. Very simple. Once again, all you have to do, put Roach and Hooks in. You don't even have to crash your defensive line to the left. I just like to get into the habit of that. I also, I really like to man align. You technically don't even have to man align against this. Uh, you really don't have to man align if you don't want to. I like to just because it gets me in good habits for my other plays. It's going to send left edge pressure at your quarterback. So really, all you have to do, put Roach in the hook zone, bring him down. That's all you have to do for the pressure and sit in the A-gap, and then you're going to get that left side. That was very... Um, a little bit ran a little bit too quick there but basically just put him in a hook zone and then you're just gonna sit right here in the a gap with roach to the to the right side of the defensive tackle and you're gonna get pressure now again remember the advanced setup we like to do that um, just because it gives us much better coverage uh, and much more consistency with our coverage defenses from this and everything else. So I really like this play, guys. This is that play that you go to when you need to have everything locked up quick and you need to still be able to send heat from it. Very effective play, middle plug from the big nickel formation, guys. That wraps up our defensive scheme of the week. Real quick, I want to go over this with you guys real quick. The only play that is not in our quick audibles from this formation is the crash three and the storm red we come out in the storm red every play so if you want to you can put the crash three in your custom playbook if not you can just go to it in certain situations or you can just run the storm red all the time uh, that's just up to you based on what you want to do but the middle plug is in the quick audibles the cover two man is in the quick audibles and the cover three is in the quick audibles which is very nice that way we can use this uh, scheme without really having to set our custom playbook which is nice we don't have to we have to avoid that hassle thank you guys so much for checking out this defensive scheme really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this week's scheme would you do me a huge favor and retweet this video as well as all the other videos for this scheme of the week on twitter for me that would be a tremendous help to give this video some more exposure and also guys i just appreciate a like rating on the youtube box it means the world to me to see you know i've got 3300 subscribers and, and 3300 likes on a video that would mean the world if, to, to me if i saw that uh it would really be a blessing to me so i appreciate it again thank you guys so much for your support be sure to check out the rest of our scheme of the weeks throughout the course of madden 25 Hope you enjoy the big nickel three through five.